From FX Empire, this is Chris taking a look at the dollar yen. And as you can see, the market continues to see a lot of noisy behavior with the uptrend line just underneath current pricing causing a bit of support. The 141 yen level and the 142 yen level uh, have kind of formed a bit of a support barrier that the market is testing at the moment. Keep in mind that the U.S. dollar is going to be highly influenced by the 10-year yield in the um, uh, U.S. bond markets. They have a huge influence on this pair. If yields start to rally again, that does lift the U.S. dollar against the yen at this point, though, I think you are more likely than not going to see some consolidation between the uptrend line and the 200-day EMA. The 200-day EMA, of course, is an indicator that a lot of people follow, so that in and of itself causes noise. Breaking above there opens up the possibility of a move to the 145 yen level, but I'm not necessarily holding my breath for that happening easily. As we roll into January, the first week will be a bit noisy. Uh, traders out there will be trying to put positions on for longer term trades. But we also don't have the jobs number until the second week. Keep that in mind, but there are some inflation numbers between now and then that could move markets coming out of the USA. The Bank of Japan continues its very loose monetary policy, so that weakens the Japanese yen overall, except perhaps against the U.S. dollar, as the Federal Reserve has already started to move dots on the so-called dot plot, suggesting that there are rate cuts coming. Either way, we are at a major point of inflection, so we'll have to see what happens after what I suspect will be consolidation.